Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and despite being sick, I'm still gonna do a tutorial video, even though I'll be a little bit late. And uh, I was just racked my brain. I have a few others lined up, but I still need to do some research. So this is one I wanted to do a long time ago because it's extremely useful for anybody building a server, and it's World Edit. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited! All right, I love World Edit. It's I'm still learning stuff about world edit it's unreal so um world edit it, just like anything else you just kind of plug it into your uh plugins folder and start it up if you want um to to also use some of the bundled craft scripts that come with it uh i also got that all set up you can download the server build and it's up and going you don't have to mess with making sure you get the right java class working it's all in there just download it so um, let's start out, uh, it, you don't really need to do permissions because it'll just work for ops. If you want non-ops, it'll be worldedit.star, kind of like everything else. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your wand, uh, your tool that's going to be for selecting areas, and it's a wooden axe. Um, now the way this works is you're going to be selecting what's called a cuboid, basically it's just a three-dimensional square because everything is squares in Minecraft. So you wanna do left click to select your first position and then right click to select another uh, position. Um, and then that's it. And then you can run commands. That's your selection is between those two points. And then you do set uh, whatever item that you want. If uh, And it actually works for the words too. I like to go by the item IDs. Let's just set it stone. Bam, there it is. And that's what we got. So now that's the basic, basic, basic command is set. Um, if you ever mess up, you can always do undo. So we'll do that. Then another fun command that you can do is um, if you want to just do the walls, you can do walls. And there you go. And uh, let's do undo. And then if you want uh, just a box, you can do outline. I believe that's what it is. And then uh, it's a hollow box. Bam. So the other now the other fun command that you can do actually I don't know why I'm reselecting this area. Okay. Well, I guess uh, hmm. Sometimes here we go. Sometimes it has troubles uh, selecting. The other the other command if your wand is not selecting correctly, sometimes it gets a little hiccup. You can do uh, slash slash h pause. Two and if if you want to do the first position is one, the second one is two, and that's going to be wherever you're looking. I'll get a little more into that in a bit, but um, so now the other fun command is replace. If you got a huge house that you're building, you just want to see what block color works the best. You can do replace, and this is gonna if you just do replace uh, one with three, it's gonna replace everything but but air. Um, Let's see, I think I'm doing this right. Okay, no, it's just going to replace. If you just do replace and then whatever, it's going to do everything but air. It's going to replace to that. Uh, let's just go ahead and undo. But um, let's say uh, let's say we... Um, let's put some dirt blocks. Actually, yeah, that's two. So um, we still have our, our area selected, you know, from each corner. So now you want to go replace two with 20. Then it'll replace everything in that area, which that was two. The dirt blocks were two. And it's going to replace it with the glass blocks. And yeah, that's a replace command. Um, let's say you didn't put this in quite the right place. You can select. Well, I don't know why I'm reselecting the whole area. It's already selected. You can uh, move it. And you just go move. The direction you're facing, five blocks. Bam. Now, the thing to note is your region selected selection is still this area. So, um, if you want to, if you didn't quite move it right or you need to move it over and over, you need to select it again and do all that. So, let's go back over some more selection options that you have. Um, 
I already went over it. You can manually set whatever place you're looking at with the H pause. If you're working in a completely null area, you know, it's completely void of everything. It's nothing is there. You can do eight, you know, pause one, and it's going to set position one to be where your feet is. And then you move to another spot and then you set that. And then you set, um, sure. Let's make it dirt. So now it's set position one and position two to be wherever, um, whatever, wherever your feet were. Um, so let's see, that's about it. If maybe, maybe you, um, yeah, you can, you can expand your selection too. Let's do this. Uh, so if you want to select your area, you can do slash slash contract and then, um, Hmm. Actually, I've never actually used this one. So set to, okay. So if you're, you can select which way to adjust your region that you've selected. So let's just undo that. Um, so then if you select this and select this and you're like, oh, I, I made it too far, you can go contract one. And now this area, this is where point one is. And then point two is over here. I can show you if you go set two. See that? Um so that's yeah then you can shift your selection so let's let's reset this um yeah that works if you want to shift your entire selection um you can do shift uh, and then let's just you can select you can specify the direction you want so if you want shift and then it's going to be amount so we'll do two and if you want to select a direction it works north south east west up or down or it can just go which way, whichever way you're facing that's the way i usually do it um i just face the direction so now now the region the entire region has moved two so if we want to i'll show you we'll do this so now see how the new region is this instead of over here so let's see what else do we got um, there's a great command reference on world edit. I'll put the link in the description for that. Um, I'm not going to get into the generation stuff or the utilities. I'll do another, um, another thing on that. Um, the other fun thing, let's say you started making a road. Let's, let's make a road real quick. Um, and yeah. Oops. And then let's let's do this. All right. So oop, we're making a road. Um, sure. We'll, we'll do courts. And that's going to be the, the thing. So you've made you've made the start of a structure. You can then look in a certain direction. And then it's kind of like copy and paste. But it's just going to stack it, repeat it over and over. So you stack, and then we're going to do five times. So now it just kind of extends it out. That's fantastic. I've used that so much. You can also do stack five uh, up, and it's going to go straight up like that. Um, that's one of my favorite commands of all times um, of that. The other one is copy. I'll show you copy. This copy is a little, a little hard to understand. Um, let's select our region here. Now, the thing is, you select your region. Now, before you hit copy, keep note of where you're standing because when you copy it, it's going to copy it in reference to yourself. So pick a point that you're going to remember and, we'll, and then you do copy. So blocks are copied now. Um, now you want to stand now wherever you are when you paste it. Paste. It's going to be in reference to where you were. So notice how I was in the doorway. It pasted right there. Now you can also take your region. I still have it copied, by the way. And you can go rotate uh, 90 degrees. Now it's going to rotate 90 degrees, I believe, clockwise. So it's going to be... So the house is going to be looking this way. So when we paste, it's that way. See how it's rotated? And then you can rotate it 100 and... Um, 100 and 80 degrees, 270, whatever you want it to look like. The other fun thing is, I'll show you this. Um, actually, this isn't... Okay, here we go. If you make your selection... Let's do this one more time. Um, 
Okay, actually, it's it's still selected. So, and then we're going to copy, and I'm just going to copy it from in front of the door. So now we've copied it. So let's say you want it like this, but you want it the reverse of it. You can flip it. So now you can flip, and then uh, let's go over here and paste it real quick. Paste. Oops. There we go. So now, well, actually, it flipped it that way. So yeah, I've used that a few times. Basically, just uh, become friends with the undo function if you're doing copy and paste. Uh, there's also a cut and paste, but I usually just do a copy and paste in case I mess something up. Um, and that's about it for that. Oh, so, <clears throat> so this copy and paste also works for schematics. Um, basically, for the schematics, let's say, once you have it copied, you got to have it copied. Schematic. Okay, actually, schematic save format file name. Schematic save house. Okay, there we go. Schem list. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit different than what the the reference guide says, but it's pretty straightforward. Schematic save and then your house or the name of the schematics. And then if you want to load it, you can do schematic load and then the, the name of it. So now now it's loaded in your in your clipboard and you can paste it. Bam. Um, so that's pretty much the basics for manipulating stuff. You can kind of use those to expand on everything. The replace function, the paste, rotate, copy, stack. Stack is a fantastic one. I use that one to save so much time. And um, that's about it, about it. I'll go over like some of the generation and the scripts uh, in a follow-up video. So anyway, if you found this helpful, let me know in the comments below and um, leave a like. And uh, I'll try my best to answer your questions. And um, yeah, you can download uh, this with the the bundled craft craft scripts so you can do maze and quick shot and all this stuff so this is cost from mcfriends and uh as always enjoy the game it's no big deal it's just gold it's just gold I it's like just it. gold name of your episode right there just gold <laughs> it's just gold not butter right oh fuck butter <laughs>